So essentially, we need to ensure two things. We need to ensure that there is consensus on lambda. There is consensus on lambda because these lambda, these this particular lambda is going to be shared between different uh, generators, and generators have the dispatch value is going to be this particular quantity, right? So we are going to be ensuring these two things, and this basically gives us our algorithm, and we are going to then look at the proof of the algorithm to show that this algorithm indeed converges in a fixed time. Okay. So algorithm for uncapacitated economic dispatch problem. So before we before I specify the algorithm, we need to keep a couple of things in mind. So one thing is uh, we need to run consensus on lambda. And the other thing is pi is going to be okay. So we need to need to ensure this. Okay. So this basically gives us the algorithm, which is let me first write down the algorithm. So e generator i, it would be running. So pi dot t is going to be given by So let me write this down first and then we will. So, so every generator runs this algorithm. So what is this algorithm? So essentially pi dot. So it is going to be updating its dis expected dispatch value. So First of all, because we are going to be running consensus on lambda, we do not know lambda to start with. So, everyone has their own copy of lambda and correspondingly they will have their own anyway, they will have their own copy of the dispatch value pi. So, every generator is going to run this algorithm. So, they are going to be updating pi dot using this uh, expression over here, which we know is very similar to the consensus algorithm, right. So, if I look at the fixed time consensus algorithm xi dot in terms of these quantities. I mean there is a negative here because it is xi minus x ray there I have written it as x ray minus xi. So, you can I mean negative sign is not there, but the right hand side of this it basically ensures consensus on xi right. So, the same algorithm I mean similar kind of uh, consensus algorithm is what I am using over here. Now, for the lambda variables right, lambda is essentially when what happens if this particular term is equal to 0. So, that means lambda i dot over 2 alpha i is same as pi dot and if I look at this expression that is what we have pi dot is same as lambda i dot over 2 alpha i because beta i is constant. So, if this is equal if this is guaranteed, so then that means this is going to be satisfied right and if there is consensus on lambda that means pi is also pi dot becomes 0 ok. So, therefore, we have solved the problem right. Is everyone with me on this? So, essentially it is a fixed time consensus kind of scheme both on pi as well as lambda i, both on this quantity because we want to ensure that everyone goes to 
So this is not a fixed time consensus in the sense that you are not exchanging information with neighbor, but you are ensuring that this, I mean this quantity on the uh, right hand side here, this converges to PI in a fixed time. And this is what is happening in this expression. There is no exchange of information with the neighbors by the way, there is no summation J and I. So what I am saying is that in a fixed time, I want to ensure that this, this condition is satisfied. And once this condition is satisfied, then p i dot is essentially lambda i dot over 2 alpha i which is what I want. And once that is true, on top of it, if there is consensus on lambda, then p i dot also becomes 0, right. And once p i dot becomes 0, that means uh, uh, we have essentially solved the problem, I mean the values have converged and we have solved the problem. So quick few things to note here is what is summation p i dot at any time? This is 0 right because it is an odd function. So, if I sum it over from y 1 through n and j again 1 through n and a i j and so on, I mean that is something that we had already shown in previous lecture. So, this is going to be 0. So, this implies summation p i t is always going to be summation i p i 0 which is going to be p total ok. So, that means the whatever consensus happens on lambda, it would be corresponding to this p total. And therefore, and it is not just any other random consensus uh, quantity that it is basically from, uh, we are running the consensus on and therefore, uh, we sh I mean this scheme is going to work. So, now we need to sh like now we need to show uh, like basically prove that this this entire scheme converges in a fixed time and in order to show that we are first going to show that this converges in a time let us say fixed time capital T1. It takes capital T1 time to ensure that this happens. So, once this happens, then we would show that in another time T, uh, T2 which is greater than T1, this scheme would also converge the top one and then in total time T1 plus T2, I mean you would have the convergence of the entire uh, algorithm ok. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So, you are going to be updating two variables at, at a time, ok. So, let us let us look at the first one, ok. So, By the way, what does uh, fixed time convergence result says? Like if you have the Lyapunov inequality satisfied, then there exists a capital time t, some settling time capital T such that trajectories converge before that settling time and then they stay converged for all future times. So, if there is a fixed time convergence that happens here, so not only we say that pi at any like after some capital time t or at times capital T1 this is not just p i is equal to lambda minus beta over 2 alpha i, but it stays converged for all future times right and not. So, the moment this convergence happens, it is not like when you run the algorithm, you are not going to remove this algorithm at all. I mean you, because you want this to stay converged for all future times right. So, you will always be updating even though this this may have happened, you would always be updating your uh, lambda i or dot over 2 alpha i, you will always be running this algorithm. Because you want to stay converged for all future times as well and not just instantaneously. Okay. So, this uh, basically scheme which runs on both pi and lambda i, this needs to be run the entire time till you get consensus on lambda i or till you get your pi is till you happen to have your pi is uh, to converge to a common value or not a common value, but to a, to a constant okay, for a given p total. Hmm. Second is trying to ensure, yeah, yeah so second is trying to ensure this this uh, optimality constraint. So this is the constraint at optimality, right? And second uh, second one is trying to, in fact, in this algorithm, what I mean, what happens is this this constraint is satisfied first, followed by the uh, consensus. Okay. So we are going to show, we are first going to show. that the second 
OD and I this second OD which is this OD, second OD uh, equilibrium is reached in a fixed time. Okay, and in order to see this, let me define the error EI, which is going to be the error between PI minus Okay, is this clear? Right? So, what is EI dot? It is PI dot minus lambda i dot over 2 alpha i. And if I look at PI dot minus lambda i dot over 2 alpha i, that is nothing but minus of this, minus of this quantity, right? So, which is going to be negative and what is the term inside this bracket? It is a EI, right? So, what do we get? EI dot is negative is this clear okay so now i have to ensure that this ei goes to zero okay and or in fact not just this e this for a particular i but for all the generators right so i need to define a lyapunov function v which looks something like this. And if this Lyapunov function is 0 only when all EIs are 0, otherwise it is going to be positive definite. Okay. So, in order to show that this converges in a fixed time, we need to show that V dot satisfies this inequality that V dot is less than or equal to some C 1 V to the alpha 1 minus C 2 V to the alpha 2 something like that. right? So, let us take V dot here and this gives you so EI, EI dot and that is going to be and what is the definition of the signum function? This new or this signum new kind of this funny looking function. So, if I this is sign like signum mu x is essentially x times this quantity right. So, if I multiply if I include if I put let us say substitute e i for x here. So, signum mu e i e i. So, this would be e i square times new uh, norm of e i. So, e i square I can write this as e i square times e i nu minus 1 or nu minus 1 rather. So, this becomes nu plus 1 e i the scalar. So, here, but then you would still have absolute value instead of ok. So, this becomes v dot is Okay. Is this clear? Now I can write this as let us say uh, I would ra rather want to write it in terms of e i square okay? because I want to recover my original Lyapunov function. So, this would be i square 1 plus nu 1 by 2 and minus
So, I am almost there except that the summation is outside instead of inside. Ide ideally, I would want to write this as summation i 1 through n e i square 1 plus nu 1 raised this thing and so on right. So, if you assume let us say nu 1 was a number between 0 and 1. So, then 1 plus nu 1. So, this quantity is also a number between 0 and 1. This also belongs right and if and if nu 2 is greater than 1 this implies 1 plus nu 2 by 2 this is also greater than 1 ok. So, remember if we had looked at one particular result that if if z i's are positive z i is greater than 0 then summation i 1 through n z i to the power p this is greater than equal to if p is a number between 0 and 1 and if p is more than 1 then this basically becomes as an 1 minus p. if p is greater than 1 right. So, we had already looked at this particular used this particular result in the consensus case. So, we are going to use the same thing over here. Now, this e i square is here e i square is like your z i right which are positive numbers and in this case p the power p is, is the number is basically the exponent p is between 0 and 1. So, you can use this to essentially approximate it with respect to this. And in this case exponent is more than 1. So, you would be able to use this particular result to, uh, to look at this case right. So, this implies v dot is less than equal to And what is this summation e i square? This is 2 times your Lyapunov function right 2 times v right. So, you get v dot is less than equal to negative 2 v 1 plus nu 1 by 2 minus and this is now you have brought this into the familiar way. So, v dot is less than equal to some c 1 alpha v v to the alpha 1 minus c 2 v to the alpha 2 and therefore, you can guarantee convergence in fixed time. Okay. So, that means, there exists some time t 1 which is finite such that second ODE converges to its equilibrium or equilibrium in a fixed time right. T less than equal to T 1 ok. So, that means after time T 1 we know for sure that this constraint is always satisfied or E i is always 0 ok. Is this clear? So, we know that after time capital T 1. So, this term becomes 0, this term becomes 0 and this derivative is equal to this particular derivative right ok. So, that is all that is we know so far. So, what I can write then is this implies that after time T 1 we have lambda i dot over 2 alpha i is equal to is this clear? Why? Because p i dot is equal to lambda i dot over 2 alpha i after time capital T 1. So, I can write this. So, this looks like a very familiar uh, consensus update on lambda. The only difference is it comes with this coefficient 1 over 2 alpha i which is which is something that we have not seen. So, we are very very quickly going to use the same results, but this time with 2 alpha i ok. 
So is everyone with me on this that after time t1 this is what we are going to obtain. So this is pretty much consensus on lambda. Something that we had already seen in the previous lecture where we ran consensus on x size right. The only difference is this coefficient 1 over 2 alpha i. So therefore, because of this coefficient 1 over 2 alpha i. So when we when earlier when we did not have this 2 alpha i, what, what was the consensus value? average of the initial ones right. So now it is not going to be the average of this it in fact so in this case so we did define this lambda consensus lambda c that is essentially going to be gamma over n times summation 2 alpha i where gamma is Okay, so this is the this so in, instead of converging to the average, it converges to this particular average of uh, lambda i's. So this weighted average. Why? Because it's because of this one over two alpha i. And how do we show uh, fixed time consensus on this, or at least convert this to the form that we are familiar with? So we are going to be defining lambda tilde i, which is going to be lambda i minus this lambda c. So, we know that lambda tilde i dot is going to be lambda i dot right that is that is there going to be there for sure and you can if you did sum it over you with one, one, 1 over 2 alpha included you would show that this is going to be equal to uh, 0. So, this is this is in fact this is the value that it would converge to the difference lambda i minus lambda j is going to be same as lambda tilde i minus lambda tilde j and and therefore, you are you, you will be able to convert this and the Lyapunov function that you need to choose in this case is that would be lambda tilde i square over 2 alpha i. So, with this choice of Lyapunov function, you would be able to follow the proof as it is uh, as we had used in previous lectures and you would be able to show that v dot is less than equal to some c1 v to the 1 plus v 1 by 2. Uh, and therefore this consensus would happen in a fixed time. So that this means in a fixed time you are able to so let us say this happens in capital T2 time. So in time T1 plus capital T2 because this scheme is valid only after time T1 right only after time T1 this scheme is valid and let us say it takes capital T2 time to converge. So in this total time T1 plus T2 this algorithm converges this entire algorithm converges that means you are able to solve the uncapacitated economic dispatch problem in this in a distributed manner in in a time capital T1 plus T2 okay. So this lambda is also called I mean it is it is a dual variable or the Lagrange multiplier but it is I mean it, we have already looked at the interpretation uh, in, in previous lectures right. It is also called incremental cost variable and there is also a popular algorithm called uh, incremental cost consensus algorithm or the ICC algorithm uh, which is a discrete time algorithm that uh, that is often used to solve uncapacitated economic dispatch problem. And this is the fixed time variant of that discrete I mean, if you have a discrete algorithm uh, as I said in continuous time you can design much faster algorithms uh, using this novel insights and this is what we have achieved using fixed time stability. Okay. So, lambda is also called incremental cost variable. And there is a popular discrete time algorithm or discretized algorithm known as incremental cost consensus. or ICC used to solve uncapacitated okay. 